What is up? Welcome in to Driving the Line On Demand Saturday edition. My name is Alan Bell. We've got a great show lined up for you today. Quick, get you in, out, and about for your glorious weekend here. But before we get to that, as always, let's take a look at how we did on Friday. And ugh, look at this. All right, Mets, Phillies, both teams to score three plus runs. Let me bring myself here on screen. Uh, we get that one with a three-run bomb by the Phillies with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. They were down 11 to nothing. And we get a miracle bomb on that one. But then we paid for it immediately. Dude. All right. Kansas State handles this. Arizona. For real? For real. I don't even want to get into it because I got a lot of friends that are Arizona people and I love them to death. Uh, that that was ridiculous. Uh, I think Kansas losing at home to UNLV. Come on, even though I'm happy for UNLV. I hate it for Kansas, though, man. Uh, lose those. And then Soupy, 0-2, uh, uh, losing on the over 16 and a half. And Edward Cabrera under five and a half strikeouts. Now, let's get rid of this. Get out of that bad karma there. Take a look here. All right, this is our schedule. And I'm showing you this because Sunday... We will be live 10 a.m. Eastern normal time with our NFL week Two show with all of your best bets, picks, props, parlays, you name it, be ready to go. And then 7 p.m. Eastern Sunday night football prime time live. Catch us here on YouTube or on stadium for that show there. All right, let's get into our picks for Saturday here. Soupy is on Oregon, Oregon State under 50. Tyler Van Dyke, five plus rushing yards. Oklahoma minus 13 and Oregon State plus 17. Big Chuck, if you tuned in Friday, these are his soccer picks for Saturday here. Brighton, Ipswich Town, both teams to score. Gladback, Stuttgart, both teams to score in the first half, plus 225. AC Milan, Venezia over three. Marseille, Marseille, team total over one and a half, minus 130. And in the MLS, the Rapids and Timbers, both teams to score first half at plus 210. Now, Daniel Greer, DG, is on Indiana minus three. Memphis plus seven. Missouri minus 14. Coastal Carolina first quarter team total over seven and a half. And then Old Miss Wake Forest first half over 33 and a half. Rafael Esparza is on Washington minus five as well from the UFC Lopez and Ortega over two and a half rounds at minus 115. Now, wanted to get those so I can get to here, but let that sit for one second. And I want you to take a look because we're about to discuss. All of what we need to do. Okay, that's enough time. All right, so first off, going Kent State, Tennessee, over 62 and a half. Yes, Kent State is arguably one of the worst teams in college football, but and I'll put myself on screen here. Um, I think Tennessee is going to score as many points as possible. Like, they're going to get their starters out of the game because they've got Oklahoma next week, but... Tennessee's going to put up points, and especially with their defense, I mean, there's a chance that Kent State literally can't move the football, and it's going to leave Tennessee in ridiculous spots, even if backups are in. Uh, that's why we're going to roll the over 62 and a half. And if Kent State scores any, hey, we'll take it. Adds to it. Now, we're also going to play Kent State, Tennessee, second half over 26 and a half at minus 110, and I'll tell you why. So, again, Tennessee has Oklahoma next week. The game plan is going to be Tennessee to go out, score as many points as possible in the first half, get the starters out of there, all right, and start getting them ready for Oklahoma. Let the backups handle their business. Probably happens. But if it doesn't and there is a lull in the first half, Tennessee's going to have to come out in the second half and end this thing early in the third quarter. So we're going to bank on if that happens. We're going to play the over 26 and a half because the first half is over 36 and a half. So we're going to play that right there. Okay. We're going to go to lane, Oklahoma over 46 and a half. We're also going to play Texas A&M in Florida over 45 and a half. Now for the parlays. Okay. You see three down here. Tell me which one you like. All right. First AB three plus 190. Florida plus seven and a half gets Texas A&M. Florida State money line, Colorado money line. That pays out at plus 190. Second parlay pays out plus 215. Texas A&M money line, LSU money line against South Carolina, Florida State money line against Memphis. And then finally, plus 620. Florida, team touchdowns over two and a half. Oklahoma, team touchdowns over three and a half. And Florida State, team touchdowns over three and a half. 
bet pays out at plus 620. So you tell me on Twitter, in the comments, which one you like. I'm going to roll with all three, take some shots here, because we got to get back for what we lost that unit here on Friday. Brutal. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it indeed. So, anyways, that's it. Like I said, in, out, and about as you go on your weekend. You know, you spend time looking at me. But, everybody, best of luck. It's Cashy's Tickets, and we will see you Sunday morning live, 10 a.m. Eastern. Break down everything NFL Week 2. But, till then, let's go.